Hello. Welcome to Freshman English. My name is Mrs. Borak Balzo, but you can just call me Mrs. B. And I'm really excited to start off this year. This is our first of many videos that you'll be watching at home as homework every night. Um, that's going to be a regular part of this class. So um, have your parents or guardians look at this video so they know that you need five to ten minutes on the computer every night for this class so that you can see what your homework is, so that you can interact with this video if necessary. I will be doing reviews on here. I will do instructions on here for, say, projects or assignments. And sometimes you'll have to fill out Google Forms on here. So five to ten minutes, no longer than ten minutes each night, you'll be needing to watch a video uh, for this class in particular on the computer or on your cell phone or your iPad or something. And the first thing I want you to look at is important things for this class. So you see in front of you a paper on my computer that tells you what two books you need for this class. We do have a class textbook, but it will be left in class. You won't be bringing it home. I have one class set, so you'll only be using those in class. The two books you do need to buy are The Color of Water by James McBride and Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. We'll be using The Color of, Bri or the Color of Water by James McBride in September, so you will need that by September 1st. We won't use Fahrenheit 451 until January. However, don't wait to the last minute to buy these books because all 1,000 freshmen are going to be reading the same book, buying the same book for the same time. So they will sell out here in Mason and it will become a challenge to order them online because a lot of freshmen throughout the entire country read these books. So don't wait to the last second to get them. Supplies you need will be a, a three ring binder. It can be a one inch, one and a half inch, two inch binder. Make sure that you have five dividers, that you have notebook paper, that the binder has pockets in it. And you will need colored pencils, regular pencils, and blue or black pens, doesn't matter. And notebook paper for sure, as I said already. Uh, a little bit about the raffle tickets and Friday drawings. I will periodically be giving out raffle tickets throughout the week to students for a variety of things. Um, an act of kindness that I notice, or you've been very helpful, you've made some positive changes, you've gone over and above in um, participating in class, being respectful, helping others, all kinds of things. And randomly, I'll just be passing out raffle tickets for different things. You never know when I'm going to pass them out when you're going to get one, but on Fridays. If you have a raffle ticket, or maybe more than one, you will put them in a bucket, and I will draw out one raffle ticket each class, and the winner will pick a prize out of my prize bucket. So that's a little bit of an incentive to um, stay kind, respectful, do your work, have things done when they should be done, do things well, things like that be a variety of reasons why you might get a raffle ticket. I have three major, okay, let's try three. Three, that's why I don't teach math, major rules in my classroom. The first one is to be respectful to me, especially if I'm talking or helping others. Be respectful to your peers. And I will always be respectful to you guys too. Respect is my number one rule in class. Be to class on time so that we can start on time because when students walk in after I've started, it can be a disruption. And so always be in class on time. I might be talking in the hallway to other teachers, so you get to class on time. You might get you know 30 seconds to talk to your friends in class, get yourself settled, things like that, so that when I walk in to the class, we can get started. And lastly, Please, please, please keep your cell phones, um, iPads, any electronic device that you have with you turned off and put away unless we are using them as part of class. So those are my three big rules, and I really, really need you to stick by them. And if I feel like you're not, then we'll, we'll have a conversation, maybe include parents or guardians, and we'll go from there. All right, so. Here's what we're going to do. Let me bring up the next 
picture. Your first assignment that I want you to work on tonight and tomorrow night, you're going to be doing it on Wednesday in class, is I want you to make a collage. Make a collage online so that I can share it with the rest of the class on the screen on Wednesday. You can Google online collages. There are lots of sites where you can upload pictures to and then make a collage like you see mine online and then save it to a Google Drive, email it to me on an attachment. You can email it to Borak Balzo A at MasonOhioSchools.com. You can email that to me as an attachment. And you can also save it to your documents and then save it to a flash drive, a jump drive, and then you can just bring it to me and I can plug the jump drive in and bring it up. So there are many ways you can save it. Just so that I can then bring it up on my computer and it'll pop up on the screen and you can then introduce yourself and why you chose the pictures and what they mean to you on Wednesday. So you've got two nights to get this done. Two nights to figure out a way to save it and be able to have it with you in class and share it with me. So again, can, you can email it to me, you can save it to a jump drive, um, you can put it in a Google Drive and that way I can open it up really easily. You can, I don't, there's probably other ways you can think of, oh, put it up to a YouTube link and then share the YouTube link with me. But I want to be able to bring it up on the screen in class on Wednesday. Okay, so Google online collages and you have a couple nights to make one. And then all you have to do is talk about yourself. I want you to have practice talking about yourself and talking to people, um, whether it's one-on-one, -on -one, in small groups, as a class presentation. I want you to have practice doing that. So it'll be kind of like this. So let me do one for you. Um, hello, I am Mrs. Borak Balzo. You can call me Mrs. B. And these are pictures of things that are important to me in my life, minus, of course, all of you, minus teaching and, and my students and what I'm teaching. So first, center foremost and right above the center picture is my husband. He is the center of my life. He is the love of my life. He was a sergeant major in the Marine Corps, spent 29 years serving our country, and recently retired. And now he has started his second career working for an international company called Oracle. So there are a couple pictures of us, our kids. You can see all four of us. There's Justin. He is 26 and lives and works down in Raleigh, North Carolina. And Alexandria, who goes by Alex, who is 22 and still lives here in Cincinnati. And then there's another picture of Alex because she loves taking selfies, like probably most of you. I love to run. I prefer running half marathons. For those of you who don't run, that's 13.1 miles. And at the very bottom, you see a picture of me running in a Nashville half marathon that I've run a few times. And then at the top, you see a, a, a picture of a medal because I have run one full marathon, 26.2 miles. It was hard, but I did it. And so I'm really excited that I actually reached that goal. There's also a picture at the bottom of you see Mary Poppins flying and Bert waving goodbye to her. I directed Mary Poppins downtown Cincinnati last year at the Aronoff. It was a lot of fun and very successful. This year I'm on stage and I'll be performing in a comedy, which I'll tell you more about on another time. I have a picture of a turtle because I love turtles. They're so cute. And I have a picture of a Starbucks coffee frappuccino light because that is my guilty pleasure. I love them. They make me happy. They make me smile. So that's a little bit about me. What I look forward to is getting to know you all. So don't forget to make your collage and have it ready for me to show in class on Wednesday. I will see you guys tomorrow.